What's up, everybody? My name is Jovi, and I am the DM for The Familiars, and I am super pumped to be working with Bailiwicky and the whole team with the one shot that you are about to watch. What this is is a play off of Matt Colville's famed Delian Tomb, and everyone at Bailiwicky has been working on these amazing ways to play with 3D maps right in Foundry VTT, and we were talking and thought that it would be super cool to take this existing one shot and revamp it to showcase all of the things that you as a DM can offer to your players right inside the best virtual tabletop on offer today. So FoundryCon was awesome, and we decided to offer this as an event for FoundryCon, and we recorded it. So um, all the assets that you see used in the one shot were professionally built by the BaileyWiki team, and they're all available uh, right now, along with the rest of the BaileyWiki 3D library. And all you got to do is go to patreon.com backslash BaileyWiki and check them out. Uh, and that link will be in the video description below. And if you want to check out more of my live play, check out the familiars on YouTube. We've got uh, our playthrough with me and my professional actor friends going through Storm King's Thunder. And stay tuned because we're going to bring it back after a little break, porting it over to Pathfinder. It's going to be off the chain. Um, but without further ado, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy the Delian Oath. What's up, everybody? My name's Joby, and we have a very special episode of The Familiars. Uh, this week, we're playing at FoundryCon, and we are playing with the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful help of BaileyWiki, in partnership with BaileyWiki, uh, and we are going to be running our own special little version of the Delian Tomb uh, using 3D assets from BaileyWiki. Thank you to Swift for making this incredible level, which you guys will see soon. Thank you to Ripper for making all of the stuff that rocks under the hood here uh, to make these things run smoothly. And um, I'm just super pumped to get going here with my very new friends who are gonna play some Dungeons and Dragons with me. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's see who we are playing with today. So. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to introduce, uh, Greg playing. Greg, who are you playing today? I am playing Vandross the Fighter. Awesome. We've got Vandross the Fighter. Okay, cool. And, uh, my friend, Adam, who are you playing? Hey, uh, this is Adam. I'm playing, uh, Merrick Dorngage, uh, second story worker rogue. Nice. Cool. Ready and to burgle. I'm ready to burgle. Every party <laughs> needs a burglar. And John. Who are you playing, John? I am playing Torga Bronanvil, a life domain cleric. Mm -hmm. All right. Keeping us all alive. Thank you, John and Torga. And last but not least, we have Ken. Ken, tell us who you're playing today. I'm always last. <laughs> <laughs> I am playing Presto the Wizard in my green robes, pulling pulling things out of my hat. And if you're over the age of 40, you might actually get the reference. Awesome. Cool. Uh, thank you so much. We have here an awesome, awesome starting level and a bunch of deceased goblins um, just to be used for practice before we jumped in um, to our adventure here. Um, so if you guys wouldn't mind just going into your uh, character sheets, double clicking on your character and giving yourself a long rest so that we can remove any lasting effects from the practice round. And... How are we supposed to sleep with all these cicadas? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> the sweet, dulcet sounds of incredibly loud, deafening cicadas. Um, they are getting into summertime right um excellent so we're removing all of those and we will start in now on our adventure entitled 
the Delian Oath. So, adventurers. Look. The kids have been missing for too long. You all come from a small hamlet in the countryside many days from really any metropolitan area. And despite the peaceful times, the young people in your town often dream of becoming adventurers and heading off into the wilderness like the heroes in their favorite stories. And as a rite of passage, it's common for them to venture out to the Delian tomb, a relatively famous ruin nearby, and dare each other to go inside to see what it holds. The journey there is usually more dangerous than the tomb itself, with various beasts and the occasional monster populating the area, but usually not too much for any young wannabe adventurer to handle themselves. Now, it's hard to know what stories are true and what stories are fabricated that come back from these, you know, in incredibly I embellished adventures, right? But the most recent group of youngsters who ventured to the Delian tomb have been gone for too long. Now, you uh, have formed a loose rescue party to just simply investigate what happened. So, uh, I will take out the rest of these here. Uh, practice goblins. Thank you, goblins, so much. You've served your purpose. And I just want to set the scene for you a little bit before we dive in here. So... Your journey to the tomb has been uneventful, and you now see the unmistakable signs of battle, all right? Um, you're outside of the tomb now, and we'll just say that this this here level, toward off, off the edge of the level, you can, you can see the entrance to the tomb, and there is a basically the the remnants of a small battlefield probably what looked to be four dead goblins and the door to the tomb is open what would either one or all of you like to do outside of the entrance to this tomb? Let's cross the bridge. All right. No, <laughs> is it what the entrance is across the bridge? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, uh, the goblin is going to just kind of put a keen eye, kind of stay where he's at behind everybody, get his bow, knock an arrow, and just kind of hold it. Not, not drawn, just watching. Great. As yeah, we move I'll, towards. I'll, I'll, I'll have my bow ready also. These these goblins are just like piled out just outside of the entrance. I'll say um, Vandross and Merrick, go ahead and make a perception check. Sure thing. I definitely want to try and make my way up there and see what it is that uh, off them. Sure thing. Alright, Merrick with a 15. What a good roll to start. I love it. Strong roll. roll. Strong Coming roll. Coming in hot. There it goes. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I need it all. We yeah. smoke. Going back. There's, There's nothing here. There, There's the math. feels very <laughs> confident that everything is safe. And uh, Merrick, you give a quick look to the surrounding area and feel fairly confident that, at least for the moment, things feel safe, at least outside the tomb. And so I'll say you walk up and begin to check these goblins. And with the 15, you can see that it looks like uh, these goblins were were slain by adventurers' hands. Um, I'd say two of them look to be killed with a sword. One of them has the burn marks of, I'll say, like magic missile or something like that. And um, it looks like uh, a scene that you have probably seen many times before. I'll say also, with the 15, 
you can see that there is the faint trail of whoever done whoever did this, whoever done did this, uh, leading yeah. into the, the the tomb. Uh, so th- at least they got this far, and it yeah. looks like the ventures are the ones we're looking for are deeper in the tomb. Are there any markings on any of these goblins? What kind of markings do you look for? Badges or rank insignia or or tribal insignia. I I, I speak goblin, so I'm kind of curious if oh. uh, I can pick up anything. Awesome. All right, Presto, go ahead and roll. I'm going to say an investigation check, taking a little bit a little bit of time to just really dot your eyes, cross your t's here. Okay. Also a 15. So you could see you begin to and everybody else can feel what you want to feel about this but actually begin to kneel down and start moving these bodies around you know picking them up uh any, one that's face down you lift up to just sort of see if there's anything on their chest and you do notice something intriguing there looks to be like a crude it's not really a tattoo and it's not really a brand it looks to be some kind of scar almost uh in the shape of a common s on each goblin's arm so it's not a brand and it's not a tattoo is it magical oh Make an arcana check. Okay. That uh, that S design that shows up everywhere around middle school age. <laughs> right, the spinal tap. Yeah, they're yeah. just a, they're just a bunch of <laughs> Superman goblin kids. Arcana check. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. With a seventeen. So, mm. Go ahead, Torga. Well, I was gonna. Ask, so, is it uh, something that the rest of us can examine as well? Is, uh, is do I recognize it? Um. Great question. I would say, uh, Presto. They all mentioned that I see these marks. Fantastic. You know. All right. So, so Presto calls everyone over, and you begin to look. And let me tell Presto what uh, he discerns. Yeah, Presto. I'm gonna say with that 17, you. Since it's not an official like detect magic or anything, you're just looking to sort of see the origin of where these things came mm-hmm. from. Yeah, it's this I mean, weird thing where it's like magic, but... it's not a it's not a tattoo and it's not um, a scar, but something a knife didn't make this. And so uh, now, anybody else who wants to take some time or to investigate this or ask a question, feel free to go ahead. But I'll say, Presto, do you alert the group to that information? Uh, yeah, and I'm going to I'm going to point out that you know, it, uh, you know, I can I can detect to see if it is magical, but that's gonna that's gonna cost me a little bit of energy. I'd rather just at this point, I'm going to say I'm inclined to say that it's it's some sort of magical marking. I don't know that for a fact, but it seems to me that that's probably what it is. Cool. Mm. Awesome. Well, they're not going to be our problem anymore. Uh, I'm going to make sure everybody's aware of the adventuring party uh, tracks leading into the dungeon and say, uh, hey, uh, I don't think we're going to be alone in this, and hopefully they're the friendly sort. Nice. All right. If there's no other uh, questions, then we can head into the tomb. Uh, how um, do, Is there any good sense of how long ago this fight happened? Oh, great question. Make a survival check. Good job. All rolls 15s. Committed. Love it. Just, <laughs> are these uh, are these VTT dice weighted? Um, I'll say that it uh, happened a day ago. Okay. So I, I guess my question is just, you know, Seeing as it, it it's a strange origin, do, does it have any religious, you know, significance? Make a religion uh, check. Be, I will do. Fifteens. We're only going to roll fifteen or natural ones on this uh, recording, everybody. So, um, 
I'll cut the ones, guys. I got you. We're in <laughs> game, game's done. Game's Thank done. Thank you for coming. Yeah, good night, everybody. Um, so, you have done your homework on the Delian tomb. And you know that the tomb holds this uh, famed knight. Uh, let's, let me check my notes here. Sextus Varnus, right? And um, the uh, Varnus was all about um, order versus chaos, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and so I would say that the S that's the first thing you think of is like, oh, isn't that interesting? Like the S is in relation to the person whose tomb this is. That's interesting. And I'd say that's as far as you get, but it definitely pings something. Excellent. I, I certainly share that, that information with the rest of the party. Okay. Great. And all I can come up with is Beavis and Butthead. He said sex just. <laughs> <laughs> nice presto. Um, fantastic. All right. Great. Uh, any, anything else anybody wants to do before we head inside? All right. Uh, slink up to the door. Slink yep. up to the door. Let me get a marching order. Go ahead and you can place your tokens in the way that you'd like to go um, just over here. If you guys saw that. We so, do. Yeah, I know I'm not the most uh, uh, combat capable person, but I might have. Uh, I'm I'm happy to rear guard. The best ability to get out of get out of there in a hurry. So, awesome. I could take the uh, close up to the front if I need to. No problem. Great. Yep, I'll take point. All right. So. Let me just get everybody over here. And we will head in. All right, so I'm seeing Merrick, Presto, Torga, and um, Vandross uh, taking up the rear. Flavor text. You descend a short flight of stairs into an underground hallway. Now the torches are lit and they're still burning. In the hallway, you can see up ahead turns to the right. There is a deathly silence and a musty old smell. What would you guys like to do? Uh, once we get in, do we lose uh, the trail of the adventurers? Great question. I'll let you just with the um, roll you had before, you can see that these adventurers you know what? With that roll that you made yeah. before, you can see that they were moving hastily. Yes, you can see it. They made no uh, effort to hide their tracks. And it just looks like... Yeah, after like 10 or 15 feet, it trails off into unfollowable. Yeah, and it you just get the sense that like these kids were being faced with something that was like way over their heads Mm. so what would you guys like to do I'd like to move to the bottom of the stairs yeah I'm going to let everybody else catch up here All right. obviously I'm looking for survivors hoping that you know they weren't so so far over their head that they're beyond aid fantastic So you guys move up, and um, let me know just how you guys want to move around the corner here. Uh, we'll, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll press up against the corner by the lit torch here and see uh, if I can see anything around the corner. Like I know I can with with the map and all, but uh, you know, commit that to character knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been my experience that. Uh, being on the outside wall gives you a little bit more maneuverability when you're looking around a corner. So I'm going to go to the outside wall. All right. Excellent. Um, I just want to compliment 
the formation here. I know I'm playing with DMs when the formation is actually exquisite before they head around a corner. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't. I don't actually see any other uh, any other player tokens. Oh. Um, oh, thank you very much. Uh -oh. Let me see uh -huh. if I can configure this without. I think I should be able to. Excellent stealth, guys. Compliments from <laughs> everyone. <laughs> right. Um. Mass it's one of my cantrips. <laughs> a halfling in chainmail is not is not uh, stealthy. I can tell you that. Is that better? <laughs> that is much better for me. Fantastic. What am I wearing? Leather armor. Um, so yeah, well, knowing that there's already light sources here means we can, you know, maintain that and don't yes. have to be walking flashlights. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. So you know, if there's a door up ahead. I can. Um, always try and do reconnaissance that's that's the one thing i bring to the table guys <laughs> i think that's a wonderful idea so yeah i'll try and move up to the, i'll try and move up to the archway without okay, uh, attracting fantastic. any attention from go ahead and make a beyond. stealth check Ooh, 10. you move around the corner and go ahead and move your token is there a way to do waypoints because i'm used to it being space bar oh um, I don't know actually. Uh, you can click and drag your token to where you'd like to move. You can also use the um, uh, arrow keys. Mm -hmm. And so I would in hopefully do something more like that. That that I'm works. Like oh, I see what yeah, you mean by waypoints. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That makes sense. So you move out and just try to get a quick clock of what you can see through the archway before taking cover again. Mm -hmm. And. What you see is the signs of another battle. Oh my gosh. Now, there are bodies of goblins on uh, what look to be about four, and you see the body of a small humanoid. It's just quick, but your stomach sinks by a door on the opposite side of the room. Now, there's a large brazier still lit in the middle of the room, and there's, stand, there's stairs descending down. There looks to be, around from the stairs, you, you got a quick glimpse of what looks to be like a raised escarpment, so it's like there's a raised portion of the room that uh, goes around the edge, and the stairs descend down, and the doorway that you saw was on the lower sort of level of that room. The body is just before the door and the goblins looked to be at the um, top of the escarpment. As you were making your way to cover, unfortunately with that stealth check, there was just a, a, a group of unseen pebbles, we'll call it, that you <laughs> kick over and the silence of this, these cicadas, oops, uh, the silence of this <laughs> awesome temple interior loop. There we go. <laughs> you let all the bugs in. Yeah. You let all the bugs in. They just followed you right in. But then they left after you made this cacophonous sound, kicking these pebbles over. And silence settles once again. But then you hear the... just nauseating sound of what sounds to be like the death throes of a gurgle coming from the room. Uh, maybe somebody's still alive. What would you guys like to do? I'm I'll assuming the rest of us know, know yes. none of us uh, where we're at. I would yeah. say uh, you heard the you, you heard the trip, and all of you kind of like oh, like grit your teeth just for a moment and listen in very intently. And I'll say oh. that Merrick is the only one that hears this really disconcerting sound coming from the room. Uh, because I am supreme optimist, I'm going to think maybe it's a survivor. Okay. And um, uh, I'm going to, you know, like, 
start to move like I'm making, you know, haste into the room and be like, I think somebody survived. Oh, okay. You guys uh, all and, see and Merrick I'm... sort of start to move in towards the room with the look of hope on his face. What, what, what's, what was everybody else doing? I'm gonna move oh, up I'll to the archway. Uh, yeah, I'll dash yeah. in. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and move to where you'd like your players to be. Okay. Your characters, right. rather. You can all now see this grisly scene on the inside of the room. Most of you can from where you're moving up. Torga running a little bit quicker than everybody else, especially at the site. And I'm going to pause it there. Especially at the site. You stop for a moment at the site of what now is unmistakably a um, dead adventurer who you recognize from, from town. Um, your heart sinks immediately but that is short-lived because you look around and you can now see these goblins up on the escarpments and they have this strange glow i wonder if you guys can see these yes um they have this strange glow starting to emanate off of them and each one of them now stands up one by one wrong kind of survivors wrong kind of survivors <laughs> and they all Thank begin God. to spooky like, hiss and like snarl and they all are looking at everybody who's run in and last but not least you see this survivor this not this not survivor the opposite <laughs> of a survivor this dead adventurer stand up no look at you and i am going to need everyone to roll oh, initiative the start <laughs> let me get you guys into combat here um, just, if you guys can click on your tokens and just click the little crossed swords with the shield, that'll drop you into the combat tracker. And just make sure you get it all in here. Ooh. There you are. Everybody's in. And the little uh, cross swords on the upper right hand side. Yeah, you guys are already on it. Let's get this one in. Boop. God, oh, these skeletons so aggravating. They are. I, I think we should you know, uh, save the unmotivated ones for last <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've got this awesome module that like puts in a little uh, descriptive word for each one for undead it doesn't really work um, but it's still fun uh, it is okay and we'll get this up and I'm oh, going to the, roll MC. it used to be an adventure Ooh. and presto uh, go ahead and roll initiative if you can find that either in the combat tracker or in your character sheet. If not, I can do it. Hang on a second. No worries. And I'll get some fun. Combat is a guy. All mm, right. Mm 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 mm. mm, mm. And. I'm excited for our first combat here. Oh, yeah. And Presto, if you need, I'm happy to just, I've got it right here if you want me to roll initiative for you. Uh, yeah, go ahead, because I'm trying to find it, not, not having <laughs> No worries. Let me... No worries. Uh, easiest thing for me is just right click on the combat encounters at the top of the chat box, and it'll pop it out. And then you can just keep tabs on the initiative anyway. Oh, that's right. All right, so first up is the aggravated goblin who I'll say sees Merrick right off the bat and is going to fire off a bow shot. Here it comes. Merrick, you dodge this side. The arrow flies wide. Um, and this goblin's going to stay put. Next up, you see the dead 
reincarnated adventurer um, begin to just shamble towards you. Um, let me see how far away they are. Yeah, they can't make it there. They're going to move towards you and just, Torga, you're just totally sickened by this. It's just horrible and disgusting to watch, but also just heartbreaking as this being is going to use uh, two actions to get over here and then almost up to the top of the stairs. Up next, our first hero turn. Torga, what would you like to do with your turn? I'm thinking Bless is uh, probably a good choice. So my thought was cast Bless on the three within range. I think myself and uh, let's see, who else are they? Merrick and uh, uh, Vandros. Great. Just go ahead and target them. Cast Bless. I believe it should be. There you go. Awesome. Love it. Love that. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Super cool. Love that. Okay, cool. Um, anything else you'd like to do on your turn? I'm good. Fantastic. All right, Presto, you're up. Uh, you're in the back, uh, and you just see all of your compatriots' um, blood go up and spines go straight. Uh, what would you like to do? <laughs> I'm going to move up here to the door mm -hmm. so I can at least look in. Great. You see the scene before right. you. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Um, let's see here if I can. All right, I can only see to the right because it's, yeah, so let's see here. That looks about right. Let's go ahead and target this guy. Love it. And uh, let's try a uh, firebolt and see what happens. Yeah. Ooh, all right, a 24 is going to do it. Nice. All right, you see the firebolt nice. shoot across the the space, lights up the room, and hits this uh, undead goblin. Uh, fantastic. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? I think that'll do it for me. Fantastic. Uh, that one got pissed off, and that one sees <laughs> you and is going to target you and uh, fire off a, uh, let's see. Yeah, a short bow shot of its own. Here it comes. Oh, shot it at Merrick. Oh, okay. But they missed them both. Oops. <laughs> I'll dodge. To untarget. My job here is done. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Uh, and uh, they miss and they're going to they're they're not they're not happy. They're 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 moving up uh, off to the side. Definitely out, hopefully, of the view of the caster. And uh, fantastic. Up next, we've got the self-intelligent uh, skeleton. Awesome. <laughs> you know, it's just, just in it for themselves. And mm. they are going to, they saw the bless cast and that didn't make them feel good at all. And they are going to instinctually, uh, target that, uh, target you, Torga. Uh, with a short bow comes flying across the space and the DM finally hits somebody possibly did they with a 20 hits Torga here it comes Torga unfortunately oh, ow. Oh. Ooh. Um, you keep do, do you have did it offer you the chance to make a concentration um, it roll says I need to do a DC 10 con concentration Go ahead. So, all right give me a second here uh, let's see. Eight points of damage to the, to the healer. No bueno. Yeah. Uh, all succeeds. Right. All right. You keep concentration. You take the arrow, but keep concentrated on your blessed spell, especially in this darkened space, probably inspired by the horrible vision of this uh, dead adventurer moving towards you. Merrick, mm -hmm. you are up. What would you like to do? Oh no. Um, <laughs> yeah, bow in hand still, so I'm going to take a real quick shot at this uh, skeleton coming up here. Fantastic. No bludgeoning weapons. Do the best I can. Um, so, short bow attack. Uh, I'm not sure why I have disadvantage. 
Oh, interesting. Why is that disadvantage? Um, you still hit. Could be the light. Could be. It could be the light. Could be the light. Yeah. I'll. Uh, this is a. I'm, I'm going to take that for now, but let's keep our eye on that to make sure. Um, regardless, um, uh, a, a light. Uh, a, a, a little flicker of light uh, uh, just happens across the face of this goblin and you uh, successfully hit it um, for four points of damage. Um, all right. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn, Merrick? Yeah, I'm going to uh, do some shenanigans and try and get out of uh, all this arrow fire by advancing into the room like a crazy person. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, Good old my Merrick. My speed is 25, so mm -hmm. that's uh, 10. Great. And, uh, what I'm going to do is come down the stairs and then use my bonus action to dash mm -hmm. and kind of like get into this negative space under the stairs. Nice. Awesome. Good move. Um, Love that. So hopefully the goblins on top can't shoot me, but. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Know. Yes. I even yeah. and then forgot about that negative space. Thank you, Swift. Um, okay. Up next, we have the unmotivated skeleton. Okay. Uh, who uh, can see you, Merrick, unfortunately? And you know what, though? They, no, they don't, they don't like this blessed cast right out in the open. <laughs> they, they don't like it. Oh, no. Not into it. Thanks for the work, Torga. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, unfortunately. You're doing the Lord's work. Yeah. I guess I am. Oh, Torga, you see it coming, and you dodge the side. Uh, and I'll say, presto, it comes um, uh, a little too close. Also to you, Vandross, um, who we finally get to. Vandross, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Going to move uh, 10, 15. Uh, 20. Move right here, and then I'm going to target the sky right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit him with the longbow. All right, longbow shot. That's going to be a 22. It's going to hit 10 Boom. points of damage. Awesome. Great shot. All right. Uh, you see the Bang. arrow go straight into the gut, and there's like no register on the face that anything happened to it. Um, and I'll say that it's as you run into the room that you also just recognize the face of this youngster from the town that you guys are all from. Um, but you don't hesitate. Uh, all right, round two, top of the round. Um, this uh, goblin is going to, I'm gonna say, yeah, this goblin is going to take another arrow out of its quiver and take a shot at the fighter that just ran into the room. Here it comes. Keep a distance. Ouch. Oh. That's going to hit with a 22. And that is going to be... Let's roll some damage. Damage isn't coming in automatically, so I believe that that is going to just... We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Here it comes. Short bow. You take eight <laughs> points of damage. Wow. These guys have got... Yeah. All right. They call it a tomb for a reason. That's it. And Ouch. you take... There you go. All right. All right. Um, and that goblin is going to move away. They, they like their bows. Up next, the ghoul. Oh, okay. Uh, the ghoul is going to come up the stairs and get right up in front of you, Vandross. And it is going to... Let me just make sure I've got this going right. Yeah, it is going to hit you with its claws. You dodge to the side, it misses you. Um, Ooh. 
yeah. Uh, does the ghoul have multi-attack? I don't think so. Okay. Um, up next, Torga, right behind Vandross. You see the ghoul come up, uh, and Vandross dodges the side. What would you like to do? So, by the looks of it, I can take three of them uh, with turn on dead. So that's Channel Divinity and just yep. do the one right next to him and then the one in the corner and the 25 feet away from the other one. So, All right. Go ahead and click cast on that so it has the description in the in the chat. Just so I do everything that I'm supposed to do correctly. Give me a second. No worries. All right, there we go. Great. All right, so all the all these got to take a wisdom saving throw. Not very wise. Unfortunately, the ghoul saves. Let's see this one in the corner. Just me in the corner. Fails. Um, and they return from you for one minute, so that's 10 rounds. Must spend his turn trying to move as far away from you. Yeah, great. Okay. All right, fantastic. So this one is turned, um, and uh, I'm just gonna put a little marker there. A holy shield. Mm. Um, to remind me, um, but th the uh, the ghoul is unfazed, which is I mean take that as you will, Torka. But that I, I don't know what that's like for you to like cast this spell and to have this thing still just be like basically trying to get over Vandross at you. Um, yeah. Presto. Irritating. <laughs> Irritating to say the least. <laughs> so we, I believe I still in this. I have range on the third one, which is uh, oh. twenty-five feet away to the right. So oh, great. Uh, let's see. Um, all the right. aggravating skeleton, I believe. <laughs> see, there we go. Yeah, the ag Yeah, the one that's super aggro. Uh, wisdom save. Here it comes. <laughs> Saves. Oh. If you uh, if you mouse over them in the combat tracker, it'll draw a line to wherever they are on the map. Uh, uh, awesome. I, I'll I guess I'll take one. Yeah. Of three. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh. Let's see. Up next, we've got yeah. Presto, you're up. What would you like to do? Merrick, did you actually say something about not being able to see? Um. Uh, we I thought. Well, when I rolled to attack, um, it was disadvantage, right? Uh, this guy here gave me disadvantage. I am not sure why, but we—I'm guessing it was light source. Would you like some more light? Is if it's convenient for you. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. Element do of it. surprise has been lost. I'm always game for uh, a sunny day. <laughs> Let's see here, what can I do here? Where wow. am I? Yeah. All right. You cast put, light. Put it right on him. Very nice. That's awesome. So you've got this <laughs> now terrified <laughs> skeleton goblin. Um, glowing. Glowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and super easy to shoot with an arrow. Uh, uh huh. That's great. Cool. All right. Nice. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Presto? I think that's everything I can do at this point. <laughs> just for flavor, can we just say that you said Presto when you did that? I did, absolutely. Presto, <laughs> presto change up. Awesome. Let there be light. That's Let awesome. Light. You Sweet. dingus, he's on the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, this one has to go now, and it just is trying to run as far away from you as possible. <laughs> so it's actually going to bring the light with it as it goes 10 feet. And then, <laughs> That's awesome. uh, let's see, another 20. I think it's going to get one more. Oh, boy. Okay. And it has to use all of its movement, right? So if it can dash, it can dash. Uh, Merrick, you just see this glowing zombie goblin, like, running down the stairs past you. Um, this isn't helping. And, <laughs> okay. We're going to bring the whole dungeon on us now. You're welcome, guys. Yeah. It opens the door and just starts running. Great. Okay. Um, Oops. Complications. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Oof. All right. Uh, awesome. And we've got now the 
this one over here uh, is going to ooh seize the cast of that that cast firebolt right through the door there, and is going to give uh, another arrow through the air via its bow as it shoots. Oh, and oh. rolls a 19. It's going to hit you, Presto, ah, for oh, six that hurt. points. Man. <laughs> Luckily, we're not level one, but still, that's going to leave a mark. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and it is going to keep its position, I think, for now. Merrick, what would you like to do? I'm currently refreshing, but my intention is I'm like, oh no, this skeleton's going to wake up the whole dang place. So uh -huh. I'm going to move into the center, uh, take a shot at it, All right. and then dash back undercover. All right. I will go ahead and roll that for you just while you're refreshing. You move out. Um, I'll say as you move out, you look down the hallway super quickly, and you can see that the hallway goes for probably about 30 or so feet. Um, in one direction and then breaks off to the left. You do see very quickly, first of all, obviously you see this zombie goblin lit up uh, running through the halls. Um, and that light gives you a view of what looks to be a sprung scythe trap. So there are <laughs> all of these blades that have already been triggered and beneath them is a second body. Um, you take a shot at the goblin. Are you refreshed yet or no? Yep, I'm back in. Okay, uh, let me know if you can, hang on. I'm gonna let you make sure that you can see them. Uh, are you able to see that goblin? Did that, where'd that goblin go? Uh, he's the dissatisfied goblin. I believe I have him targeted. Yeah. Oh, great, go ahead. Short bow. With disadvantage, interesting. Yeah, you're still mm, you're still dice. hitting them. Um, so uh, we'll just make sure that those come through the way that they need to for whatever reason. Um, uh, that being said, you do do four points of damage. Um, good hit. Good Thanks. hit. Uh, it's wounded now. That, that's good. Do my best. Goblin's and then, wounded. Uh, and you go whatever... back. No, well, I'm, I'm going to go across because there's two over here and one over there. So I'm going to nice. dash this away. And the button was control. Uh, control left click. There we go. That's not working. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, dash under one of those pillars and, you know, try and maintain cover between the one on the far side of the room. Fantastic. Tactics. Tactics. Love it. All right. Up next, we have another one of the goblins that goblin is going to take a shot at uh the fighter and here it comes boop he said boop there we go oh please i think that's gonna miss yep all right all right i'll take it vandross you're up you just look to All the right. right as you're trying to fight off this ghoul. You see an arrow just like flying across your face. What would you like to do? I'm going to raise my great sword above my head and bring it down with much prejudice and attempt to hit this ghoul in front awesome. of me. Love it. Yeah. Ooh, All right. yes. All right. Critically hits. There we go. Boom. The ghoul goes <laughs> down. Wow. Fantastic. Nice um, job. You can and feel about I'm that gonna, what you feel, you know, but it's successful. I'm going to move now. Good. Uh, and 15, 20, 25, 30. And mm -hmm. then I would like to use my bonus action and do second. Well, you know what? I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just going to end my turn. All right. Fantastic. <clears throat> um, this goblin sees you coming at it, comes right up to you, is going to target you and is going to swing its short sword at you. 15 is going to... That'll hit. That'll hit. All right. So. Uh, my AC is 15. I, I'm pretty sure it applied it on D&D &D Beyond, but my fighting style is defense. 
Okay. Uh, just no need to look at it, but I think, yes, 15 will hit. All right, great. Uh, 15 hits. Uh, so there we go. Damage. Here comes the roll. Should come. For whatever reason. There it is. Oof. Oof. Seven points of damage as you take a serious blow to your shoulder. You really feel that one. Um, uh, that one hurts. Uh, up next, we've got Torga. What would you like to do? All right, so I'll move up so I can be in this touching distance of my uh, wounded companion there. There you go. There, perhaps. There we go. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it so if... The goblin wants. Let's see. Can I can I go next to him there or not? I, there we go. All right. Oh wait, box him in. There we go. But you know, I, I'm I'm thinking you're looking wounded. I think I'll probably just cast a cure wounds on you. Great. Make sure that you stay there. Oh, oh, max healing. Beautiful. There we go. Love that. All right. Yeah, you, you see exactly where that wound came in, and the goblin is sort of like moving back to take another strike, and you just reach and touch that wound and heal it right up. Uh, Excellent. Fantastic turn. Awesome. Way to go, Torga. Thank you, Torga. Presto, mm -hmm. you are up. What would you like to do? You know, it worked so well last time. Presto. Presto. Uh, light emits from the self indulgent there it is <laughs> all right i love that i love that did that did that turn on i don't think it turned on at least it didn't it... turn on but yeah i hit him all right you did yeah you hit him with light i love it um another one uh lights up let me just get this uh going here so we can remember is that gonna go we'll see maybe yeah why not they twirl <laughs> okay <laughs> why not uh cool okay um all right another zombie goblin is lit up uh and uh this one's still freaked out so i'm gonna say that this one is just running as fast as it can <laughs> i'm gonna say I just think it'd be. I, th I, I just think this thing is terrified. It's lit up and it's just not really thinking. It runs right into the completely sprung scythe trap. But I'm just gonna roll a d8 just because I think that's kind of a little funny. Uh, not too deep. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, let's just do the one. Okay. Oh, of course I roll. Yeah, six points of damage. Um, just apply that as damage yeah it just runs and its head is lopped off and it dies <laughs> all right i'll take like it a, like a goblin with his head chopped off like a goblin oh, like a zombie goblin with his head chopped off all right Clear. this just one that's it over here the one that just got lit up is going yeah. to uh yeah it's gonna attack the one that lit it up uh oh. I was gonna move to the side of the doorway. <laughs> Whoops. Uh let's get this one going here. Boom. Here it comes. Ooh, uh, 21's gonna hit. Mm. Oh, oh, oh you take oh, eight geez. points of damage. Oops. Plus wounded. Um, alright. Uh and it is going to start to charge. It's just like you hear this like deathly battle cry um as it moves. And Merrick, you are up. What would you like to do? All right. Uh, sounds of frenetic combat over my head. I'm going to step out up onto this brazier shelf. Mm -hmm. And I see one of them's engaged in melee and road training kicks in. And that's the guy. Great. Uh, and I'll take a shot at him. Great. Awesome. Uh, actions. Oops. Inventory. Uh, short bow. Yep. I done I done did something with this advantage. Uh, oh the first no! Roll first roll is that wait, that was an eighteen. All right, so that's gonna yeah. be. Uh, I'm glad that it auto rolls the damage. So that's two points of damage, right? Uh, I don't see a damage roll, but if it shows it for you, it I'm does. Gonna... Yeah. 
Um, oh, so, and it will be sneak if he's in melee. I think I did get sneak okay. attack on this. I can't uh, 100%. So um, go ahead and roll a d6. Here we go. Uh, feature sneak attack. 2d6. 2d6. Wham. Ooh, seven points. Wham. Nice. Damn, nice. nice. Thank you. Um, yep. He goes uh, right into the rest throat. of my uh, yeah. movement to uh, go back into cover and bonus action hide. Okay, nice. All right, sweet. Uh, is that a stealth check? Would you make another stealth check on that? I will. Great. Fantastic. All right, I'll, find I'll do it. Cool. All right. Uh, up next. Got this one. All right. Um, this one is going to move out to the side, oh. take a shot. Maybe I'm shooting. Maybe I'm shooting out of range. Are you? You're so no, close. No, short goes eighty feet. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. Uh, this one's going to fire off short bow. Maybe, maybe I'm cursed. <laughs> Hits pressed. Ooh, nope, that's not right. I didn't aim it at Presto. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be that mean. So Presto, I'm going to apply this uh, as he- as healing again. So sorry, so sorry, Presto. Uh, there you go. Boom, back up. Uh, and let me make sure that you're not prone anymore. You just, just fall. Land down on the job. Yeah, the Winifred right always gets it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it did miss Vandross. Um, Excellent. Uh, Vandross, you're up. What would you like to do? Fully healed. Oh, yes. Uh, so let me untarget this guy. Hold on. Just got to get my screen to let me get there. Great. Apologies. No worries. Gotta drop my combat track or my combat hood for a moment. There we are. Um. All right, let me try this. All right, it's not letting me untarget the guy behind me, so I'm just gonna target the guy in front of me, and I'm Go gonna on. hit him with my uh, great sword. Great. All right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, death. Great. Nice. nice. You cut off its head. Then, then I'm gonna move up uh, again. Great. Uh, 10, 15, 20. All right. Torga, you're up. All right. The uh, how much do I know of Esto's uh, wounds from my vantage point? Oh, from your vantage point? Let's see, what can you see? Not much, not much. Uh, Preston, did you call out when you got hit with that arrow? Well, I'm probably, I probably said ow, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) If I I didn't hear a thud, I'll probably, I'll probably just advance on. You know, wizards are known for saying ow, so. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed they are, indeed they are. So, all right, right, I'll probably just uh, try and. This is why I wanted to move to the side after I split up to the goblin. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> that was a cool animation. Um, Toll of the Dead. Fantastic. Uh, yes. Oh, it just rolled it auto. Nice. That's awesome. Super cool. You guys hear this dolorous bell resound throughout the entire room. And that uh, goblin, uh, zombie goblin, is hurting right now. Uh, really hurting. Um, up next... We've got Presto, the one and only. What would you like to do? Uh, all right, I'm going to uh, fire a uh, firebolt at this goblin that is yeah that is uh, rushing me, and then I'm going to back up. Great. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> all right. So I hit fireball. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Yes. Roll. Nice roll. Oh yeah. Oh, right. big damage. We'll Fantastic. And then I'm going to move. Needs, who needs back sneak attack? A little bit. <laughs> so great. Yeah, right up here. Just in case it gets through the doorway. Just in case. Uh, it is going to try. Let's see. 10 feet. It's not very smart. It's undead. So it's just going <laughs> to rush the door uh, and be right there for you. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, right? Just just, <laughs> just in your crosshairs. Frame for me. Just right in the frame. Yeah, Perfect. just get a little to the left. Uh, <laughs> great. Okay. Up next, we've got Merrick. What would you like to do? I'm gonna do the same uh, maneuver from last time. All right, let's uh, see if it gives you disadvantage again. If not, we will just do it. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm actually I'm gonna hold. Uh, so Celeste action I hid. I don't know if that would give me advantage or not. Uh, yes. Uh, it's gonna give you. It should. Ooh, yeah. yeah, it should. And sneak attack, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so I'm gonna hold yeah, alt. Well, That's like the rogue move. melee. So that yeah. I'm gonna hold alt because alt for advantage. Short bow. There you go. It canceled out my disadvantage. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> yeah. still in. we'll take it. We'll take it. You know what? Just roll a d20 uh, again for me just to see if you... Oh, he's dead. Okay. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, Can't uh, be cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. Great. Um, so uh, that one goes down. Fantastic move. Yep. And there's only one left as I do a quick scan around the room. Yes. Only um, one left. And I'll uh, go back to my original hidey hole and bonus action hide. Fantastic. Rogues have routines. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Vandross, yeah, you're yeah. up. You see the uh, goblin drop right right in front of you. Um, what would you like to do? Perfect. Uh, you allow for me to switch to my longbow and fire? Sure thing. It's not Pathfinder. Way. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Uh, switching to the longbow. Did not mean to move the token, but that's all good. <laughs> and longbow. No. Oh, it's going to miss. Oh. Miss. And then I'll keep on moving back. All right. This way. Great. All right. Up next, Torga, what would you like to do? I will advance upon the one remaining self-indulgent skeleton. It offends me by its uh, worldview there, so yeah. <laughs> I shall advance enough so I can uh, tag it with something. So awesome. I'll just pull the dead. Love it. Come on. All miss, right. Miss, miss. Ah. That's gonna Succeeds, save. it saves, unfortunately. Um, nice move. It's got a whole bunch of targets on it now, unfortunately. Uh, little does it know. Uh, anything else you'd like to do on, on your turn, Torga? All good. All right, presto. All Go. right, let's do this again. This, yeah, frame me up for it. Perfect. <laughs> frame me. <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it goes, and that's it's going down. Nice. Oh, All right, yeah. excellent. And I might do it. I might do it. Is it not? Is it not done uh, yet? Oh Ooh. man, it's got to be Ooh. so close. Somebody so sneeze on it, quick. Close, just yeah. Don't blow it. You'll knock it over. <laughs> oh, now he calls for help. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh man, it's oh, it's its turn. Okay. Uh huh. That's why I hailed help. Presto yells help as this goblin advances towards Presto. Oh no. Oh, dude. oh gosh. Golly gee. Come Don't on, mind Presto. Me. Um, it's gonna swing its short sword at you. Duck! Oh, wait. He's at super defense. <laughs> oh, it's got to untarget you first. There He's go. gonna magic miss. So. It's gonna magic miss. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, maybe. Let's see. Oh, that's gonna hit. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Big damage. Oh, oh, no! Presto goes down! <laughs> Oh gosh! There goes Presto. No. All right, you guys all are looking around and see that uh, this one last goblin that is lit up just charges the wizard, um, and you hear uh, a cry as Presto drops to the ground, unconscious. But we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We got him. I'd like to okay. be the DM that like takes some kind of weird pleasure in killing folks but i always then anyway yeah i can never i can never be that hard uh merrick you're up what would you like to do uh well i just hear like a gurgling horrible groan coming from the entrance <laughs> yeah <laughs> then i'll do a heartfelt sigh um i keep hitting space and this is the wrong button uh, so five and then oh i got to do 20. There's a move. Uh, can I see that thing poking out? No, not really. So I'll dash. So 10 or 15. Yep. And then I'm going to run to the other side. So if it. Uh, ooh. Did it count my original movement? Let's see. Yes. Yeah. I think. So yeah. I'll go run to the other side in case it comes back. And cool. then I'll be ready for a nice flank. 
Okay. Vandross. All right, I'm going to move 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. There it is. Yep. There it is. Target that thing. Hit it with the longbow. Yeah. That'll, yeah, that'll, that'll do, do it. it. Death. Mm. Boom. You see it drop with the unconscious presto right behind it. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> no, presto! I rush you over to him and yeah, unstable. That's going to take us out of initiative. And Torga, go ahead. All right. No. All right. Be first. It's the only way. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to move him. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. All right. And then I'll, I'll just do a medicine and just stabilize him for the moment. Okay. Until Great. we can figure out what's going on. All right. So let me uh, reach over there. Do you like a medicine roll? Uh, yes, please. All right. I'll try and get around this wall. All right, it's being irritating. Give me a second. I'm gonna roll some short bows here so I go. got the advantage fixed. All right, he's stabilized. Are, are we, um, uh, I was just uh, refreshing. Are we, um, uh, does the good, be does good beer require a short rest? So sorry. No, it, okay. uh, it's essentially it creates 10 berries that heal four hit points each, and right. it's just a first level spell. So I would need to cast it, but other than that, we're good. Okay. So, all right. All right. I, so, my, my question to the, I guess, to the to the gem, does it, it feels like taking a short rest here, given that we had a, you know, a beacon skeleton running <laughs> further ends, probably not, not going to be available to us. Is that a fair assessment? It's always available. We weren't losing <laughs> Classic. No, he didn't, answer. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't make it very far. I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I took care of him. Yeah. Merrick alerts you to the fact that, like, um, he just basically sprinted into an already sprung trap and is dead. Um, why doesn't everybody go ahead and make a um, a perception check to just listen to see what's going on just for the moment, just to get sort of the lay of the land here. I've got zero hit points. Can I stay? Can I do it? Still do a perception check? <laughs> well, up. all you can hear is your heartbeat. Right. I'm Torga. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. I would say now you're stabilized. I would say okay, Merrick. Things seem quiet. You take a moment. I'm gonna. Yeah. And things oh, just. Sorry. It's that same. I mean, I'll, I'll say at this point, especially disconcerting silence. But you don't mm -hmm. hear much movement. Well, 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 things, close the well, things, door to this chamber that was opened by that goblin when he was fleeing if we wanted to short rest and at least we wouldn't you know if we were we're not sleeping right mm -hmm. yeah uh this and me personally this fight didn't cost me any resources whatsoever so except for arrows which i will take some time to collect to see if any of the goblin skeletons had usable ones great um, um you get and, uh, half um, back yeah i'll uh go back up and thanks to Torga, I'm I'm good as well. All right. All right. So Tor I believe. Yeah. So do, do we do we know how many berries it will take to heal Presto? It take five. They're four points each. Four four points each. Should yeah. Five, give you the full strength. Yeah. All right. So I I hand I hand five to uh who, who are you? Your Presto, right? I hand five yeah. to Presto. And then I, 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 let's see, the I give two to the fighter and one to the rest of us. So pop it in your mouth, you get four points of, of healing. Okay. So and I don't need to touch it. So. Oh, awesome. Okay, thank you. So, um, uh, yeah, you gently, ever so gently, just um, uh, place these good berries. And the first one, you just have to sort of chew Presto's mouth mm -hmm. <laughs> for him. Up and down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I do. That's awesome. And uh, slowly but surely, Presto, you 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 come on back. <sighs> Let me get you up off the ground here. There we go. Okay. Who uh who 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 do we have to thank for these? All we're supposed to be giving thanks, right? Oh, uh, very good question. And I will tell you that in a second when I tell you exactly what wonderful dwarven. Uh, <laughs> so my 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 uh faith is Marthammer Dewim. Okay. So all right. You made that up, didn't you? 
<laughs> no, no, it's it's actually in my in my background. So um, all right, it, it, he he's the he's the god of the dwarves. He's of the fort. So okay. Um, fantastic. How long does bless last? Is it I believe a, it's a minute? Minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna drop that off of folks. Mm. Okay. Oh, you my orbiting dice. Back in. Okay. The party is back. Nice job, guys, by the nice way. Nice work yeah. on this yeah, first encounter. Good work. I'll um, slink down here and check out. All I do is slink, by the way. That's my verb of operation. <laughs> <laughs> and check check out this uh, brazier. Where uh, I more like sachet. Um, Resto. I can't roll ours because I'm horrible at talking. So as slink, you guys uh, make your way in here, um, you can see now that um, this room looks to be some kind of the brazier looks to be used for offerings and now that the uh, adrenaline has worn off you can see that there uh, on the walls are these um, uh, like bass reliefs of what looks to be a an army um, rushing off to battle with a singular figure who I'll say Torga you recognize as Sextus Varnus leading this legion into some kind of battle Um, so I, I certainly point out the um, sexist to to everyone and 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 describe the you know note that that the it appears to be a battle. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna say, well, Torga, make a second re religion check. Do. You're also a dwarf, so you're all into stone. The ten. Decidedly average. Decidedly average. Um, there's something. Well, I just kind of. I'm just going back to your original religion check. Yeah. There's something you recognize as how could I say this? Like there's something about the stonework of this relief that catches your eye. It seems off. You can't place it. It's a little frustrating. Good. So, so Torgus, you know, shakes her head and sort of squints at it. It's like, yeah, that, you know, I, I appreciate good stone. And I can tell you, this is not good stonemanship. No, this is not good stone. Some, something's wrong. So it's, it's, it doesn't necessarily feel defaced, but something's off with, with this carving. Humans, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you know, if I were a thief, I'd be thinking about checking that for doorways or something, but I'm not a thief, so. Well, you're going to rob a wall? Okay, let's go rob a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Secret passages, you know, dwarves oh. do things like that. This is a human tomb, right? Right? Am I crazy? <laughs> um, sec Mr. Sexy? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, you guys want to keep going? Oh, oh, you guys want to oh. stay in this room? I'll check the relief to see if there's anything weird about it. Um, um yeah, go least, ahead. I don't know. T trained, trained roguey eyes. I have those. Yeah. Plus zero perception. Hey. Oh, nice. <laughs> Halflings are lucky. You spend a moment just sort of running your, doing a cursory look. I mean, it's a human tomb, right? Like, what could they do, really? But you, you, you take a look around, and you uh, pretty quickly notice that there's there's no secret doorways there's no little you know hands to hold or whatever however 
you do notice that in investigating this relief, all of the soldiers in this picture, it looks like the skin is like falling off of their faces. It's like and a subtlety to the design. There's like this subtlety to it that's like, it's you didn't notice it at first. And at first it just looks like this sort of like heroic scene of battle. Mm. But you notice now that these soldiers sure do look like they're undead. Ah, I see it now. That's what was giving me the heebie-jeebies. Undead army. Work your fingers to the bone and what do you get? Bony fingers. Bony fingers. <laughs> Nice. All right. What are we doing? I am going to move up just beside the door so as not to get in the way of the rogue um, advancing to run recon down the corridor. I'll run <laughs> recon. All right. And I'll pull my bow. Great. I'll bring up the rear. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. So, uh, how do you want to do this the same way? You want to roll a stealth check? I uh, see. All right. Go ahead. My leopard print died. Woo! Feel pretty good about that. 23. Nice. You silently move down the hallway. As you go, make a perception check, please. Uh, see, that's where you're going to get me. Now with 19. Oh, no. Ooh, very nice. nice. Way, to, way to die. All right. <laughs> So um, you can move safely down the hallway um, as you go, and you can feel free to move your token. You um, are being very careful to look for any kind of trap, what have you. Um, and it seems as you approach these, um, this scythe trap that this is the only trap um, along the hallway. So you hmm. move up. I seem to be having a problem in that it's real dark in here. Well, no, you can see a light. Weird. The so the the this hallway didn't load for me. Oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> Maybe give it a little F five uh, love to see Let's if it do that reloads for F5 you. F five motion. Um, um, it also may be that the torch at the end of the hall is only GM view because I'm screen sniping off of your. Oh, uh, I can I see, see it. Webcam. No problem. Oh, okay. Well, then so, it's me. Yeah. I can see. Sorry, well. <laughs> it's not him. It's it's you. It's yeah. No, yeah, it's, yeah. It's fully yeah. No. Okay. Um. Give it a give it a refresh to see if that helps at all. Um. That being said, I'll turn my settings down if, if it's still no good. Oh yeah, that might that might do it. <laughs> Guys, it's just void. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. We we're Stare moving into a completely dark different dark dimension. Here. <laughs> yeah. Tomb's over. Magical darkness. Um. As you move up, you see the body of the second adventurer. And as Man. you move towards it, of course, having seen the other one come to life, you immediately, your hand goes to your short sword or your dagger, what have you, the weapon of your choice. But as you move, you see that these scythes uh, took the head off. Mm. And there doesn't seem to be I mean, there's no movement in this body as you approach it. And I'll even say that you sort of move your way around these scythes and give the body just a little kick. And um, no dice. This this is dead, dead. I'm going to make sure that these scythes aren't going to trigger and then uh, give everybody else the coast is clear. You feel confident. Okay, well then, yeah, come on. All right. So everyone go ahead and move up. All right. Man, look at this place. It's cool. Rest, are you hanging back? There we go. <laughs> Safe, just, safely? Yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of, you know, bringing up the rear, just sort of 
Sure. Is there uh is there any reason for us to or do we believe that the trap has sprung and that yes. there's that, that we don't need to worry about our own heads being lopped off? Correct. Um if so, I'll go to the body and say a few few words uh to uh speed this journey to the afterlife. Absolutely. You move up. It's a gruesome sight. Mm-hmm. But you um, just clench your jaw. Think of your higher power, dwarven god, whose name I've um, unfortunately forgotten. And um, well, he hasn't a, forgotten you. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and say a prayer. As you do, right, thank you. Um, you come around the corner and see a door. All right. Oh, that was interesting. I'm gonna look at this uh, at this body here real quick. Is there anything I that I check that I see that that seems out of the ordinary? Well, you notice that this was a wizard. Really? Yep. A staff. Does he have his spell book with him? <laughs> uh, you it's see Can that? Can you tell I usually play a rogue? <laughs> did, did he have a meaningful life? And <laughs> um. Uh, they do have their spellbook on them. Ooh, can I get that? Absolutely. Add a level one um, wizard spellbook to your inventory or in a note. Um, and let me see what spells you have. Weirdly, I've got prestidigitation twice. I don't know why. Yeah, right? Here, I'll take one of those well, out. You know. One of them's like your formal affair. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And remind me, if you pick up a spell book, can you immediately cast, or you need to take some time to transfer? Right. I, I well, if I so as a wizard, I can read from any spell book. I should be able to. Right. Uh, which means that if it's a spell in there, I should be able to use it. Okay. All right. Um. Well, that was a fantastic piece of role playing that, of course, I don't have a note for, but you should absolutely get that. So give me a moment to find um, just a nice first level spell book for you, and I'll let you know what you get. Okay. Um, and actually, that might be a good time as you guys approach this. Let's just take a let's just take a uh, uh, we're halfway through and it's um, uh, we're a little past halfway on the old um, timer here. So why don't we take a five minute uh, bathroom break? and we'll come on back and uh, see what is beyond the door. Cool? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, I changed, guys. Awesome. I changed, bra- I changed uh, browsers and things are oh. hunky-dory right now. Awesome. Love that. All right, guys. Uh, All right. Let's make it a solid five, and uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Cool. All right. All right. Ready. See Excellent. you in five. Cool. Peace. I'm just to- so totally excited for this. This map looks so good. Yeah. yeah. Way to go, Swift. Um, yeah, he killed uh, it. Swift does incredible stuff. Um, let's uh, let's get back in here. So you guys let's are approaching this uh, closed door, obviously. Um, how would you guys like to handle this next moment? Well, we're not. I mean, I don't, I've never been one to believe that opening doors is a particularly stealthy thing because yep. the door can betray you, uh-huh. no matter how good I am at it. So I'm. Uh, perfectly happy with the fighter to just open it and uh, and you know those hinges are gonna squeak yeah like i well, shall absolutely open it all right so i'll step back out of the way and all right i'm gonna Mijua. i'm going to uh open the door great oh guess you're gonna need me after all <laughs> uh, are you i yeah. can't there seem we to go. open the door Fantastic. oh there we go Oh, um, look at there. You look into the largest room that you've been in thus far, and a grand <laughs> staircase ascends um, towards a statue 
of Sextus Varnus. The statue at the top looks to be in a posture of victory, holding his sword towards the sky. And you see the decaying corpses of more goblins as they begin to rise and move towards the uh, spots in the beginning um, uh, at the top of the room with their height advantage over you. And you see two ghouls of the former adventuring party stand and ready themselves to attack at the top of the stairs as well. I will need everybody to go ahead and roll themselves some advantage. I'm going to pop you into the combat tracker right now. And we're going to get some other combat type music here. Yeah, that's what Ooh. I like it. And you said advantage? Uh, I, he meant initiative. He said advantage. Initiative. Did I say it? Oh, what, look at that's that. That's why I wanted to verify. Like, Thank uh. you very much. Everybody roll advantage. Just <laughs> just to, just no to see what you roll. Just, just to Got see. It. Thank you. It's a good thing I'm in the back. Right. Um, uh, let's get all these folks in. Oh, put these ones look in. There's oh, Anna. That's rhetorical, ghoul. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about it. Uh, that's great. What if I said? All right. What if? I... Um, fantastic. Up first, we've got Vandross. All right. I am going to take a shot at the goblin I can see. Yeah. Uh, uh, nice. All right. Shot. And Found. then I'm going to move up and try to use this wall. Fantastic. For cover. Absolutely. You're going to get that nice three quarters cover. Awesome. All right. Uh, that one did not like getting hit by you. And because you rolled that uh, uh, cover, um, it is going to uh, have to move off of its position. Um, it is going to hop down and find, let's see, that's going to be 15 there uh, as it moves towards you. All right. Mm -hmm. We've got this undead adventurer um, is going to begin its descent. It's, it's going to move to there. Up next, we've got another skeleton that is going to, not a skeleton, a goblin that is going to see who it can see here, which is going to be Merrick. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Gonna take a shot at you. Here it comes. With advantage due to the height. Oh. Seven points. Oh. Dang, Merrick. I'm out of here. <laughs> Up next, we've got. I'm gonna pop this out. Merrick, you're up. All right, uh, I don't actually have a good line of sight on any of them, so they're just bullying me. Um, so let's move a little bit to try and get what's going on. Uh, this is a good 15 feet uh, token movement. Collides with a wall. 15 feet. Or I can't get into the room. I'm trying to run. Oh, there you go. There we go. There we go. Right. Okay, that's 10. Yep. Uh, ooh, I don't even see anything. Let's go here. 15. Uh -huh. ah, I can see something. There you go. Uh, yeah, we so have I'll take there. a shot at the first thing I can see. I'm not really sure what shot at me yet. Um, short bow, is it going to do disadvantage again? No. Hey! Ooh, it crits. There you go. All right. Nice. Oh, out. Dead. Awesome. Such nice. a good shot. Fantastic. Um, Great I'm shot. I'm going to keep moving. Uh, dang. Uh, so I'll have to dash, and I'll dash all the way to the corner. All right, great. Ooh, Up next. The the stairs. All right. This school's going to start making its way down. Okay. Up next, we've got 
tour guide. All right. I will move so that I have the uh, cover. Yeah. All right. And then I will do essentially what I did last combat. I will cast Bless on the three of us. Love it. Since we're adjacent, I'll give you a high five. <laughs> What's that five? Uh, uh, more than more, more key board. All right. There you go. Fantastic. All right. The generous skeleton. Um, <laughs> He's gonna run. Oh, nice guys. Good movement. Wait, where's Presto? I'm still in the hallway. Point. You're still in the hallway, aren't you? But you're way back. You smart wizard, yep. you. <laughs> oh, man. We I'm learned. squishy. I'm squishy. I'll stay back. <laughs> Good work, y'all. Uh, I am going to move this one 10. And it's going to drop down. There we go. And it's going to... You guys are pulling them. You guys are pulling them. Uh, fantastic. That one moves there. Presto, your move. What would you like to do? All right. Well, I guess I need to let's see here. Move up towards the door. Cool. And that's 25 feet right there. That should hopefully allow me to look around. Oh man, I can't see anything, can I? <laughs> it's tough because it's like a immediately in the door. It breaks yeah. off on either side. All right. So Swift let's see this I, very nicely. So I will take my last five feet that right there and we'll just move to the side good move nice <laughs> i can see a stairway and that's as good as i can see right now vandross bless blessed you're up uh, um all right i'm going to step one one step out yep i'm going to target the goblin again fire the longbow comes uh, misses. Oh. we're gonna miss him and so we're going to step immediately back love it swap to the great sword yeah. and wait for him to come down those stairs yeah here it comes he's pissed <laughs> <laughs> come around boom right there right up next hey. to you hey hello there hey, Gobby. how you doing welcome to the kill floor <laughs> Uh, all right, here he comes. Not happy about this. Short sword coming at you. Oh, I got two people. There we go. Let's try it again. Coming at you. You said it was yeah, 15? Gonna me, That's going to hit. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, let's just roll some damage really quick. That one. Whatever reason, with you, it's not auto rolling the damage. So let me just do it the old fashioned way. Oh, Ooh. Uh, this is the opposite of the one. <laughs> That's definitely the opposite. Okay. All good. Eight points coming at you hard. Hits you, takes right. you down. Take it. All right, there we go. One out, two, boom. All, All right. right. Uh, up next, we've got. Another ghoul. These ghouls can do some hairy stuff if they get down to you. Let's see if they do. Come around the corner. Ooh. There comes one. Got one behind me, guys. All right. Next, we've got this one taking shots. Anybody they can see? Nope, they can't see anybody. Not even Presto. Okay. Yay! <laughs> That's why I moved to the side. All right, there we're going here. All right. Uh, moving down the steps. Good old fashioned, pulling the ranged down to you. Um, Merrick, you're up. What would you like to do? All right. Uh, do I need to use my bonus action object interaction, or is it a free interaction to stow my bow? Oh, free. You good. It's okay, 5e. Well, I'm going to yeah. stow that and then uh, draw short sword and move up. If that needs to be, because I'm expecting to use my uh, bonus action rogue stuff to do all this manipulation. Um, yeah. Object interaction is one of them. Move up, just flank to sneak attack this guy. Yep. Uh, short sword. Come on. Ow. Oh. Ow. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We'll take it. Nice. Dead. Nice. Uh, well, uh, he, he denied my sneak attack. Um, I'm take yeah. a quick quick peek at what's going up the stairs. You just uh, kick him as you go, then, and then move back. All right, great. Um, do did I end up using my bonus action? No, I don't believe so. All right. I'm going to hide behind the dwarf with cool halfling abilities. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go ahead, roll. Only thing, stealth. Only smaller than me, I guess. Awesome. 14. Uh, you feel yeah. really yeah. confidently hidden. Excellent. Is that, uh, that's, uh, what is that called? Oh, now I just really want to get one of these ghouls down to you guys, but I'm worried that you guys are going to kill them all. Um, that's our job. That's the plan. I'm, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried that we're gonna kill them all. I'm worried that we won't. Yes. All right. Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this ghoul oh, runs whoa. to the side, and then just boom, drops right down next oh, to you. Oh man, Vandross. Yeah, that's cheating. All right. And this ghoul is going to use its claws. Yeah. That here. is going to hit. Yeah. So. First, you take, uh, let's see what you take. Pardon me. Nine points. Mm. Oh, and better. I'm gonna need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh. You save. Um, you are wounded. Oh, no, that's my bad. Hold on. No, you were at 19. Oh. You take. That's my bad. You don't. That doesn't happen. No. My bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're at the 10. All right. There we go. And Scared me to death. Prone. Um, there we go. That'll, that'll be better. Now, um, as you feel this claw swipe through and take a chunk of skin out of you, you can feel some kind of, like, numbness and this moment of like paralysis paralysis uh, and, but you shake it off just at the last moment um, uh, but it uh, it makes you nervous you feel like if you failed that you might be not moving um, alright uh, but still moving wounded but still moving um, Torga what would you like to do ooh what do I want to do? That's a really good question. So, it looks like Vandross is ailing, but not necessarily. You know what? I'm just going to I'm gonna advance, get some flanking, mm -hmm. just take a whack at Oh my gosh, there are other guys here, aren't there? All right. Well, I'm going to target that one. Mm -hmm. uh, some reason, I'm not able to target it. Why is that? Oh, why not? Hmm. The one at the top of the stairs? No, I'm trying to one to do the one right next to me and get some flanking on it. Hmm. Oh, that's dead. Oh, this one? Oh, that one's dead. Well, this that's one's what. dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> D -E -D. What the hell yeah. am I doing? <laughs> he's laying down. That means he's dead. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll, I will take a whack at that one. Uh-oh. Did that actually work yet? Did it? Did fails. It fails. Excellent. All right. All right. And then I need to reset. But if you could move me back under cover, that would be awesome, and I'll be done in my turn. You got it. So, there you go. All right. Here. Up next, we've got a skeleton. Ready to go. Goblin skeleton. Angry. Frustrated that it can hit no one. It runs down the stairs. Sees the first one that it sees, which is unfortunately the fighter. Here it comes. Short bow. Misses. Thank goodness. Up next. Presto. What would you like to do? Yay, me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move to the side. And I'm going to target this groovy ghoulie here. Mm -hmm. Can I? There we go. And fireball. Yeah. What? Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
a loaded turn. Woo! Nice. All right. Eight points as a firebolt shoots across the space, singeing the, the, the ghoul for eight points of damage. Fantastic. And then I'm going to move back. All right. Yes, you are. Pressed. Oh, three quarters cover. I love that that comes up in the chat. That's so cool. Uh, now, up next, we have round three, Vandross. What you up to? I'm going to use my bonus action and use second wind. Yeah. All right. Uh, sorry. Do I need to target myself or will it just do its thing? That's going to be the question. Let's see. Second wind. Uh, usability. Come on. Big number. And I'll take it. Okay. Eight points. There you go. Nice. And then I'm going to uh, target the ghoul. I'm going to hit him with my great sword. Yeah. Oh, hits. Okay. Nice. Oh, and then nice. I'm nice. going to action surge. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm going to hit him again. Woo! Yeah. Oh, you or miss? not? Uh, oh, you oh miss. yes. Oh yeah, they have like no AC. <laughs> Get down, boo. Yeah, it's Get just like back, one brother. swing and another swing and dead. That's awesome. Sweet turn. <laughs> nice. All right. Up next, we got another ghoul down here, though. The ghoul is on the killing floor. Uh, oh, man. I mean, I want to say that the ghoul is pissed off that you killed its friend, but ghouls feel nothing. Um, it just is hungry. So it's going to run. It's going to make it to you right there. And we're going to see. That's going to come over there. Oh, my gosh. So fast. Target. And we're going to do this. Cool. I'm going to paralyze somebody. Come on. Not on that roll. Woo! No, that won't do it. That's not going to do it. Okay. Um, anybody? No, you guys are doing so good at staying in cover. Uh, pulling them down. Absolutely. They'd be running down. They just want you dead. There. Uh, Hello. Yep. Oh, it turns around, sees you, Merrick, and is going. Oh, no, Torga. That's you, Torga. I'm hiding. Yeah. <laughs> it cannot. Yeah. It's like there's absolutely only one person here. And. Just me. Wonderful. Shot, nobody here but us dwarven clerics. Dwarven uh, chickens. Ah! Misses! Ah! Yes! Come on. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Up next, Merrick. Hidden! Uh, what would you he do? didn't see me, so he's not going to see this. I'm going <laughs> <laughs> to come up here and uh, moiterate him. Moiterate, oh, right. Ooh, that should oh. be with... No, no, roll roll, roll, roll again. That's with advantage. Oh, I do have advantage. All right, I'm hitting the button. Yeah. That'll get him. Hits. That'll do it. Oh, we'll and sneak it. attack. Did Heck that yeah. happen? Oh, sneak no. attack. Hold on. i got to get out of my features. Dropping. Yeah, I might go down. Three. Uh, it's garbage. Garbage. Uh, but that garbage is enough to do it. Yeah, Mary. Yeah. All right. Excellent. All right, so that was five feet of movement in my Work. action. Um, and I don't like this goblin being down here, so I might boogie up here. So there's ten. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, come on. Get out of the stairs, you. Uh, hmm? Twenty. Twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Uh, seeing what's up on this next level. Okay. Um, and I'm going to dash uh, with my road bonus. Uh, there's 10. Mm -hmm. 15. And come back this way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Basically, you just see this like triumphant statue of, of Varnus at the top of the stairs. Um, and it looks like there's nobody, there's no other secret beings hidden anywhere. You guys are doing uh, quick work with these undead. Um, Torga, you're up. Dead right. zombie goblins next to you. What would you like to do? I will, I'm glad I'm moving over to give my friend the fighter some flanking when it mm -hmm. comes to 
another turn, and I'll just, uh, you know what? I'll take my hammer out and pound the crap out of it. Heck <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh, a oh, two. No, I won't. No, oh, it's going to be a miss, right. unfortunately. Um, uh, flanking 5e is advantage. Oh, yep. that's right. I get it another. I, should I just do another attack? You should, and see if yeah. that one, second yep. one hits? Yep. I shall, I shall do so. That's better. Oh, Heck yeah. that'll do it. It hits. Oh, Come boy. On. Nice. All right. Excellent work. All right. All right. That goblin is not back. That, that ghoul is not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, if it could feel feelings. Presto, you're up. Well, let's see. Here. I think I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I think I've already targeted this uh, groovy ghoulie, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with uh, firebolt. All right, here it comes. Yeah, that's gonna hit it. All right. Ooh boy. All right, four points of damage as a fire bolt streaks across the space. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, you know what? I'm going to move to the other side. All right. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. Top of the round, Vandross. You got a you got uh, a flanked ghoul. What would you like to do? I am going to uh, I'm going to target that ghoul. All right. And I am going to swipe at it with the great sword with advantage, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's going to hit. Oh. Wounded, a wounded ghoul. All right. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. The ghoul turns. Uh, it's it's this tongue just like almost falls out of its mouth as it uh, tries to use. It turns rhetorically. It turns <laughs> rhetorically and strikes with you with its claws. Ah, misses. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I want you to win. Um, <laughs> you know, that's what every DM says. I don't want to win. I tell my just, players that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> wanting, wanting to make it, uh, make it compelling. Yeah, exactly. Merrick, you're up. What would you like to do? Uh, okay. I'm gonna appear up here. Yeah. That's awesome. Ooh, That's nice. awesome. Uh, I'm Love gonna it. bonus bonus action stealth just to be sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'll give it to that. you. This is sneak attack. It's so awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the ghoul is and, otherwise uh, engaged. Yeah. I'm swapping in my bow and uh, surprise. Mm. Hold a. Heck oh, yeah. yeah! All right. Nice. Oh man, is that it? No, that's not it. And then that's no, that's sneak party ghoul. Yep. Move sneak this, will, to this might be. Hey. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that Come gonna on, do man. it? Nine points. Boom. Yes. Dead. Yep. And I. Yes, uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, give you guys a nice little uh, twenty charisma smile. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. Um, the light of the torch glints off your teeth. <laughs> Cling. <laughs> wow. All right. I ready. Right. I ready. Told the dead. Oh, they're all. They're all dead. Excellent. They're Everyone good. is this one. This one. Wait. Oh, I thought we had one. You have one more. <laughs> oh man, I screwed that up. Um, how many? <laughs> he he looks at what's going on and just falls apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just totally. It's not worth it. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, friends. this is happy accident. Um, all right. So. You guys uh, see this, you guys all, all of you turn on this one zombie goblin. And as you're all readying, like whatever it is you're about to do next, um, you hear a voice, this disembodied voice begin to like reverberate through the space. And you hear it's it's like a soothing almost a calming voice if it weren't for this echoed like raspy whisper that was accompanying it and it says 
welcome, my new warriors. Surrender the chaos of your life and submit to the order of death. Take yeah, it's a hard pass. My oath and live forever. And at that, you hear at the back of the room a part of the wall slide open. And this green glow begins to emanate from the back of the room. You see the goblin frozen and sort of like slack jawed as it waits for something. So, there's a goblin, zombie-ish goblin in front of you that is now out of combat. Everyone's out of combat. And this voice is coming from basically the back of the room now. What would you guys like to do? I'm going to have a... Merrick's going to have a little snack real quick and uh, just uh, get that good, good berry. Eat that good berry. Second breakfast, you know. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. I don't Uh want to have this conversation on an empty stomach. That's, what, 10 hit points? It's Uh, uh, four four hit points for a good berry. Yeah. Okay, so plus plus four. Everybody else, I'll give you guys maybe like one quick thing that you can do before we move on to the next moment in time. Uh, It it might be come up here because I'm on a higher Z level. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to start moving up the stairs closest to me to, okay, to get up. With, I'll give you 30 uh, feet. All right. All right. I, I, I'll all right, just five, follow ten, right, right on his uh, hind quarters. Okay. Perfect. I'm just up there chewing like, you see, you see in this? I'm going to go past this goblin. And, oh. All right. Let's try it this way. And then I'm going to go up the stairs. Great. So right about there. All right. So as you both, as all of you ascend these these steps, you can see now unmistakably this back of the of the space. The secret doorway has opened, and this green glow emanates from the back, and it's you s- see now a figure mm. float Not good out oh hello and this figure is a robed figure whose desiccated hands are gently folded in front of them There is an elegant rapier on one side uh, hanging at their belt. And it is interesting to see this shrunk shank of a being next to this heroic statue standing next to it. If it is the same figure, you see that this one has almost like I mean, lost much of its of its living vitality and it looks to all of you and holds up both of its hands and says you have passed my test. Welcome to eternal life. If you so choose, you shall be soldiers in my army and bring order to the chaos that is life. 
And from behind this being, you see the final two adventurers in their undead form move in to the room behind them. And now we'll just, this will pause this moment in time. And I'll say that everybody gets to what, basically I'm gonna go around and ask sort of where you're at. Vandross, as you see these figures come out, what are you thinking? And what do you, what do you feel that you would like to do? As I see them come out and I, and I hear this being speak, I'm going to just really slowly like step towards the wall in front of me while turning my back and looking at my companions and just kind of like trying to gauge if anybody has any type of reaction to all of this. Right, like trying trying to pick up on any visual cues that might be coming my way. I'm absolutely freaking terrified. Awesome. <laughs> right? Merrick, you are finishing the last morsel of Goodberry as you just kind of force it down your party. throat. Okay, and you just give a thumbs down. Two thumbs down <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Torga. Where are you at as you come up the stairs? You see Vandross move against, uh, move their back against the wall. Yeah, I guess I will pop my one good berry in my mouth as well. Get that four I'll hit points back since Absolutely. I don't think I'll have a chance after this. And I'll yep. probably say something quite insulting like, you speak falsely. Awesome. Your, 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 your reward is nothing compared to, you know, you know my, the, the word of my, my deity and, Challenge it directly. Lovely. Heck yeah. Awesome. Presto, you gonna shake hands with the devil here, or what would you like to do? Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. No. That smells like initiative to me, but. <laughs> I love the smell of initiative in the morning. All right. Uh, I, good brains. Like, I gotta go to my aunt's house after this. I don't, I can't undead armies. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are going to then drop ourselves into initiative. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can squeak it out. Battling. Oh, well, he's hoping. At least he's hoping. Yeah. Roll every time. Andos has got a strong sense of justice. Off good. Um, and just to pop you into initiative here, boop, there we go. And we got Merrick, and we just gotta get Torga in there. All right, there we go. Thank you, sir. No problem. Let's get started. Up first, we've got Vandross. You see your party is with you. What would you like to do? I'm going to move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, and fire with my longbow. All right. Great. Yeah. Geek the mage. That is going to hit for 11 points of damage. Awesome. Then I'm going to finish my movement and get out of line of sight. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. And I'm done. All right. Up next, Sextus Varnus floats forward. Floats. One. It's not a good two. word. <laughs> well, not when it's somebody else. <laughs> it's, right. it's definitely worse than Slink. <laughs> That's definitely worse than Slink. Sees. Oh. Merrick and let me see just where this is in my there it is cast bewildering word oh 
foot. Eh. Eh. Um, you're gonna need to make a DC Wisdom saving throw. That, that there was it an is. ability check. I clicked the wrong side. Nice. They're both plus zero, so same yeah, dice. Yeah, uh, oh. same dice. Uh, the tie goes to the roller. You okay. succeed, I believe. Yeah. Um. And wow, you save. That's great. Um, that's un- amazing. That's really good. Um, uh, great. I see that. And uh, unfortunately, um, they cast it again because they have multi-attack, even with this ability. Oh. Come on, Merrick. DC Wisdom. All right, this time with a saving, saving throw. throw. Power. Should give you a 1d4 as well, I hope. Oh, uh, I did. I rolled a one. Oh. And you rolled a one. You take six points of psychic damage. Feels Ouch. like this just dagger hits you right in between the eyes. And you also have disadvantage on all attack rolls until the end of this uh, being's next turn. Uh, up, bummer. Total bummer. Up next. We've got the goblin back in action. <laughs> That's going to run up behind Presto. Oh, no. Of course he is. Oh, no. Give the wizard. No. And an on target here. And I dodged to the side quickly. And short sword. Oh. Thank yes. goodness. Mrs. Presto. You do. You dodge to the side. All right, Presto. Fantastic. Uh, that's their turn. Up next, we have one of the ghouls, one of these ad- sorry, sorry adventurers that just picked the wrong day to go into the Delian tomb moving forward. Uh, Torga, you're up. What would you like to do? All right. I am reloading, but I'm up now. Let's see. I can see... The goblin that's sh- going to shiv or try to shiv uh, Presto, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Let's see. Why don't we... Told the dead. Oh. Sit. Fails. Nice. Failed. Perfect. Ooh, yeah, yeah that, that's perfect. All, All right. right. I'll take it. Nice. Great. And then I will move uh, to have maximum cover from all these wonderful bad guys. I uh, love it. All right. Fantastic. Up next, Merrick. What are you doing? I'm swapping to short sword and getting a flank with uh, Presto. Never thought you'd hear that before, did you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is going to cancel out your disadvantage. So go ahead. Roll normal. Yep. I think this will roll normal. Come on. Yes. It did. Hits. Yeah. Wow. Right. Nice, nice hit. shot. Nine nice points. Gun. All right. Shoot. Excellent. Fantastic. Good moves. All right. Uh, and if he's not moitered yet, I'm going to um, uh, bonus action. Nothing. Did he catch that eight? Yeah, yeah. Did, did, he, did he get the sneak attack? No. Did oh, he? no, I didn't put the sneak attack in. No. Oh. Sneak for eight. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. Bonus action dash and uh, go hang out next to uh, Vandross and be like, Vandross, my hair is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys obviously, I had that. Awesome. <laughs> um, Great. I'm going to move this. The ghouls are moving. Up next. Presto, you have dodged to the side and successfully helped a flanking attack. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, target the big big bad and hit him yeah. with the firebolt. All right. Come on. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, well. And then <laughs> I'm going to run up against the wall, too. All right. <laughs> got him. I got it. We're doing totally a lightning bolt. Yes. Oh. All right. 
Nice hit. He, nice he hit. disappeared. I can't see him. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm behind that wall. That's why I can't see him. <laughs> okay. Never mind. You <laughs> cast the firebolt just as you're dodging behind the wall, and it's like a no look shot, but you totally hit him. Um, fantastic. All right. Uh, All right. Vandross, you're up. I'm going to move five. I'm going to target this dude. We're going to take a shot with the longbow. Mm hmm. Yes. All right. All right. And then we're going to move back. Okay. And that's us. Fantastic. Um, nice. It is Sextus Varnus's turn. Ooh. And he can see no one but you guys hear these whispers begin to fill the room and uh -oh. there's this breaking apart of the dimensional space uh -oh. as he casts dimension door oh uh oh such a great spell and appears right <laughs> Next ah, to Van oh, That was a mistake there, buddy. <laughs> and then is uh -oh. going to let's see, he can cast one per day. Is that multi attack? But he did cast a spell. And ooh, actually, hmm. Multi attack. Cast spell. I wanna attack one more time, but I don't know if that's against the rules. DMs? What do we say? Uh, <laughs> I can't judge it because I'd be biased. Yeah, yeah we yeah, have to. In my if you attack, if so you cast a spell, point. it's a, it's your whole action. He, That's your whole action. action to cast a spell. Multi attack so. is an action and says make X number of strikes. Like totally. making two attacks when you get fifth level with a fighter, it's a single action Oops. point. Sorry, strikes. Right. That's terminology from a different game. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, makes sense. Oopsie makes much more sense, but. We'll talk about that another day. Um, <laughs> so he basically bamps right in front of the three of you. Bamps. And that's good, his turn. good word. All right. Uh, up next, we've got. Oh, can the ghoul make it? Oh, come on. I like that uh, Vandross's token is like side eyeing this guy. He's like, yeah. are you really? Uh, the great sword in there. You don't, <laughs> you don't want none of this, dude. Come on. All right. Here it comes. The ghoul attacks Presto. Oh, not Presto. Oh. Oh. Always Presto. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh that's going well. Dude. Come on, dude. Don't hold. Make that save, brother. Make that save. Yeah, go ahead and make that save. DC Constitution. Constitution right. save. Yeah, hang on. You got it, man. You got it. Aren't you an elf? Aren't elves immune to this? Wait a minute. Thank yeah, you. Yes, they are immune to this. <laughs> That's awesome. amazing. All right. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, all right. You do take the damage, though. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm targeting the wrong people. No, I got this one, right? Claws. Seven. You take seven points of slashing damage. Oof. I'll put that in for you. Okay. All right. Um, and you also feel the effects of the paralysis that would have overtaken you. However, your elven heritage uh, saves you for another day. Up next. Oh, dice rolling. Oh, yeah. Great. We got some automation happening uh, on its own. Um <laughs> Uh, up next, Torga, what are you up to? Oh, so the, the hopeful warlock of the Archfey, I, it has been damaged already. I do know that, yes? It has been yes. damaged, yes. All right, well, then I shall toll it. Toll it. Ooh, it fails. Wow, my goodness. Right. Isn't right. it a D12 if it's injured? It should be a D12. I think if you hold... Alt and or it, shift and roll it takes, next time. It oh, takes damage. 
Do you want me to just do a D12 instead? Um, do a D12 instead. I shall. Oh, wait, yeah. I just did. There we go. Uh, same thing. And it makes no difference whatsoever. That's awesome. That's great. However, you Perfect. see it tear the dimensional space again using Misty Escape. No. Oh. As it takes the damage, but ports back up to the top of the stairs. Oh, no. Oh. Dang it. Up next. Merrick. All right. You're up. I was getting, you know, I had my short sword ready to jank this guy because he had <laughs> made sneak attack happen. So I guess I'll just jank this guy. So, 10 feet <laughs> jank over there. Jank away, buddy. <laughs> um, I don't jank have advantage. That's flank and jank. I don't have disadvantage anymore. I don't have advantage because I'm not flanking, but I do have sneak attack if I get. Uh, so there's a number. That'll do. Yeah. That'll do it. All right. And sneak attack. Sneak attack. Oh, yeah. Here comes Come sneak on. attack. All right. Come in. It's almost like a... this time. Five Another points. Five? Ooh, it's almost there. Oh, oh. Almost there. Good work. Right. Good, work. So that, Good work. I'm going to disengage with my bonus action and then move 10 feet back. All right. Nice. Great. Fantastic. Uh, ooh, boy. Up next, it's the petulant ghoul. Um, oh, man. I'm going to paralyze one of you guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, really... well, uh, I guess I won't be taking a turn this time. Yeah, <laughs> scratches, the, scratches the elf and is like, you know what? That didn't feel right. Yeah, uh, uh, I really want to do it to the fighter. Oh, okay. Can I make it there? One, two, three. <laughs> oh yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hop over. It jumps off the ledge. Oh, oh look at this it. guy. Over. He's pulling my strats. And uh, is going to. Claw you. Oh, wait, 15. 15. Your AC is 15. All right. So I have a quick question before you apply the damage. Please. I have a reaction. You uh, do? Parry. And ah. this has nothing to do with the paralyzation. Okay. It has only to do with the damage. But uh, it says when another creature damages me with a melee attack, I can use my reaction to spend 100%. one superiority die. Yep. Reduce that damage by the number that you that I roll. In the, all right. So, Cool. You roll the damage. All right, let me roll the six. damage. Uh, to get it. There it goes. Nine. All right. And the roll superior die is what? D8? Or is it, or is it, it's a six? I can't remember. Six. I can't remember either. D8. D8. All right, D8. here we go. All right. Rolling roll eight. Roll eight. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Let's roll. All, All right. right. All right. Let me pop you Sweet. back up. This is destiny. Uh, and then you need me to saving throw for me, right? Yeah. Con? Yes, please. Got it. Coming in hot. Uh, 15? 15 we'll saves. Up. Yeah. All right. Get out of here, ghoul. Okay. All right. You fool. Uh, okay. Up next. Presto, you got a ghoul to your left. You got a ghoul to your <laughs> right. I'm by ghouls. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move this direction. And I'm, then I've got the guy targeted. I'm going to hit him with shatter. Uh, you are going to take an opportunity attack before you do. Oh, yeah. yeah. I probably will. Um, and it's going to be a bite attack. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Who else am I targeting? I want to do this one. Oh, it's got to be. I'm just going to move him up next to you just so I can do the roll. Bite. Yep. Yes. Hit. Woo. Damn. Mm. All right. Uh oh. Be gentle. Feature. Well, I don't think there's any gentle with the. Uh, yeah. Probably not. All right. Snake eyes. Here we go. Oh. Damage. Nope. Oh. Oof. Eight. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm down to two hit points. Hits. Mm. Yeah. But, but I am not down. So I'm targeting the big bad and I'm going to hit him with shatter. All right. There you go. Shatter is a. Wow. Con Three save? Effect. 
saves. Oh. Okay. All right, and then I can move ten more feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Oh wait, I can thirty foot, don't I? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna move over to the wall here. There you go. All right. Excellent. He did get uh, half damage off of that fail. It didn't happen. Um, I think. Did you take the damage? It's a uh, half damage off off the fail for shatter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, half on successful. Yeah. Okay, right. half, yeah, half damage on successful. Let me see if that came through. I think that went through. Organic, it it did. Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, you guys. Uh, uh, the big bad is wounded. Good. Um, nice. nice work. Nice this, work. Yeah. This is a tough spot right here. All right, I'm going to move. Five to so between the two of them. Yeah. Keep this guy targeted. Great sword. Miss. Miss. Unfortunate. And I don't know that I can do anything else with that. I okay. cannot. I am just going to have to grin and bear it. Okay. All right. It is. This isn't where it look runs out. We're all going to come home. All right. It's over here. I can't I think see. I have less hit points than I should. How much did I get hit for last? Oh, there's some automation happening. That's a that I think might be doubling up on things because it's happening a little slow. So definitely double check that. Um, I only got hit by that uh, spell save. So I can I can. I can thank that. you. Appreciate it. Um, What's the name of the, the spell you used? That did my ouchies? That, um, to <laughs> when? It, it was called um, Bewildering Word. Yes, thank Word. you. Okay, thank you. Um, Vandross, make a oh, yeah. wisdom saving throw. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I did hit me twice. Okay. I'm not wounded anymore. Okay. Um, I just want to double check what my spell save DC is for this. Yeah. You save as you hear the unmistakable whispering incantation of hold monster fail uh, to paralyze you. I just want to paralyze one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do it? <laughs> but we don't want to be paralyzed. You don't. You don't. You We're don't. too full of uh, vim and vigor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Vinegar. Uh, and piss and... Bunch of bunch of party animals you got in your tomb. I know, Ooh. right? Oh, but we got one more chance to do it. Uh, as this one is just going to claw you. Nope. nope. Miss. That's a miss. Up. Next, is that ghoul gonna move? No, that ghoul just all it wants is to eat flesh, so it's just going to stay there. Okay, uh, Torga, you're up. The big bad is whispering incantations above you. A ghoul is still trying to claw its way into Vandross. What would you like to do? Yeah, Vandross looks wounded, looks a little beat up, so I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna pop over to where he's at. Let him know that I care about him. There uh, you go. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> you mind if I back seat and stay one square over to the left? You're you're asking me to do this? Is that just what you're stop there? Yeah. Only so that I got uh, reach on the the ghoul, so murders can continue to happen. Understood. I I, I was going to move out of the way anyway and move back under. Oh, okay. Well then. So. Actually, yeah. Then that would be perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to heal you up, buddy. Big dice, baby, big dice. Hey. Oh, hey. There we that's go. Beautiful. Thank you so much. All My right. Pleasure. And I get undercover, and that's 
it for me. Right. Merrick, you're up. Yep, so I'm going to uh, slide past you here. Mm -hmm. uh, target this wounded guy. I'm going to try to finish him off so uh, Vandross can use his big hurt on the other guy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, inventory, short sword, strike. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, I'll that. take that. Nice. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Merrick. Out. Dead. All right. Um, Beautiful. Sweet. Hmm. I'm gonna carry. I can keep circling this guy. That doesn't provoke, right? Uh, so correct. Move, move back here. Move here. Yep. And move here. Yep. Uh, Vandros, I put him on a platter for you. Wow. <laughs> nice move. Do what I can. I do what I can. This is where he'll paralyze me. Watch. This is where <laughs> 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 uh, it's my bonus action to dodge. All right. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Oh, gosh. This one just sees you like running around it, making all these moves. It downs its friend <laughs> and it turns away from Vandross. Ooh. And, uh, oh, my foundry just wanted to make sure that it um, reset. It really doesn't want to. <laughs> now my it's foundry awesome. is trying to make it so that I don't paralyze anybody. I'm really good at dodging. Uh, <laughs> God damn. Or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. Unreal. I mean, he could is critically that? miss because he's a disadvantage. Right. All right. Uh, okay. That's the turn. Um, Bresto. It's all about. It's all about the all right. game. Well, well, Bresto, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move out. Can I, can I, there we go. I have to go about here, so I can see him. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna hit him with magic missile. Yeah. All right. Ooh, nice effect. Cool. And then I'm going to move back. All right. Is that only one missile? It should be three. It should be three. Yep. Go ahead and roll that two more times. Definitely should be three. We get to see that cool effect. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. And one more time. Come on. You might do it. You might do it. Guaranteed. Come on, big number. <sighs> Nice. 14 damage, I'll take. It. Wow. Sweet. My goodness. My goodness. You hear um, this uh, warlock just cry out in frustration um, uh, as uh, he, he just can't paralyze anybody. <laughs> he brought one tool to the table. One tool. <laughs> he had one, he had one job. job. All right. Uh, Vandross, you're up. What All right, uh, ghoul time. Um, I'm gonna try to hit this guy with the great sword. Yeah, uh, we're gonna hit That'll him. Do it. Come on, big numbers. We'll take eight. Wounded. Yeah. Yep. Wounded. And then, um, yeah, and then that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, my turn. All right, sweet. Uh, we're gonna do this one. Yeah. But, but. See. Going to out of frustration, he jumps <laughs> down into the fray. Oh! And rushes up next to you, Torga, the healer. Oh! And is going to he takes out his rapier. Uh oh. I'm going to be needing that soon. And just make sure I'm targeting the right person. Boop. I, I actually think you're not. I think I'm actually too over. I think you're, yeah, you're that, targeting. I've been targeted. I'm just, that's I don't cool. think that's a, yeah, right? that's a dead, it's dead ghoul. Cool. Oh, wait, not you. Yeah. Um, He can't make it to you. <laughs> so he's going to make it over to, out of frustration, Vandross. Man, Let's you're target. a pincushion today, Vandross. That's okay. It's what I'm for. That's, that's your job. And Excellent. with my leather armor. 
<laughs> and I'm wearing chain. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. What you got? And he says, "Can I do two or to that one? I'm gonna do the Wolfburn word. That's what I'm gonna do." Um, he just starts whispering, and these words begin to sort of circle your head, and you can almost see them before you as uh -oh. he boop. rolls the bewildering word. Let's see what he does. Let's see. First one. You're going to have to roll a DC uh, a, a wisdom save. Wisdom save coming in. Come on, Vandros. Saves. Yeah! Get out of here. Second one. Oh, a second one. All right, wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Saves both of them. Oh, you know, nice. Seximus, wow. you can give up any time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to level with you. Aren't you a bard? <laughs> mm. Up next. Man. Up next, Torga. What are you doing? Come on, Torga. Lay him low. Oh jeez! All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna target the ghoul. I think right in front of me to see if we can take it off the board, since it is already damaged. All right, and you said hold shift, and that should work for Toll the Dead. Is that correct? I think it's shift. I'm not. Uh, don't hold me to it. Shift into turbo. <laughs> yep, there it, it worked. Yep. All right. Should be awesome. yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Right. Look at right. that. awesome. And wow, great. Okay, Merrick, you're up. Uh, my last opportunity to slink. Slink away. Slink on. Slink right on, there. slinker. You're like, uh, <laughs> well, guess you didn't want to take up us up on the offer. This is with advantage. Uh, and then hold all skedaddle. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. It happens. Uh. Yep. Wow. Um, Unfortunate. Dodge. Yeah. All right. Up next. There's no way to say that I'm dodging because of status or effect is there. Presto. All right. Let's see what I can do here. I'm going to, I've got him targeted for a firebolt. Let's do it. On Presto. Oh! Dodge to the side. Oh, he's stubborn. This one. That's right. We got Vandross at the top of the order. Vandross, top of the order. Round five. All right. Well, we know what's going to happen. We do. Great sword. Great sword comes out. Yeah, that'll hurt. I can't. Oh, dude. Yep. Give it a second, see if it rolls the damage. There it goes. Boom. Nine. Smack a Rooney. And then uh, that's uh, Vandross is going to wait for the re, uh, yeah. retaliatory strike. <laughs> nah. Oh, wow. Bewildering word. Oh. Coming at you one more time. Feel it. Feel it. All right. Wisdom save coming in for you. Fails. Fails. Oh. I'll take you that take seven. Seven points of damage. All right. And disadvantage. And Ick. disadvantage. Yep. Yep. Can't and... believe you just said that. Uh, it's all good. One more it's all time. good. Yep. Here it comes. Come this on. This will take you down. Nope. But you save. Boom. Do you take half damage? Yeah. It was, it was big damage. Oh, it was big damage. Oh, yeah. down. Down. Unconscious. You guys Vandross see... falls. Oh. And... Um, he's going to run. Wait, 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 wait. Can I use my reaction? You're... you're wait. No, it's not, uh, no. Attack. it's not a melee Nobody's attack. Nobody's really entitled to me. Nope, never mind. Never yeah. mind. I was He's going to run, and Merrick, you can take an uh, uh, opportunity attack if you so choose. Man, I'm, I mean, sure. Get him, Merrick. Uh, take him out. I I... Man, I really want to just like grab him by the ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grapple him. If you... Yeah, we can, I guess. I do have a free hand. Uh -huh. Is that... 
Uh, you can make a strength is check, that... uh, a contested strength check. Yeah, you can totally grab them. No, that's a horrible mistake. Let's murder him. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's going to do it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Plant my short sword into his foot. Wow. Retribution. Wow. Look up and he's falling over. Wow. A man. Merrick takes him out. Vandross is unconscious. Um, Torgar, I'll say you run over to Vandross. He's no longer back. unconscious. Oh, thank you. As a silence once again falls over the Delian tomb, there's a great sense of satisfaction as all of your breath returns and the adrenaline drops down. But you then begin finishing your mission, which is to collect some of the personal effects, whatever you can, from the adventurers who were not so lucky who came before you. So, a success to finally take out what was the original source of um, the, the curse over the Delian tomb and whatever happened to Sexus Varnus, but you have unfortunate news to bring back to your home. All that being said, I want to thank all of you for an awesome one-shot adventure. Can't believe it. This was great. I want to thank Bailiwicky. I want to thank Swift. I want to thank Zephyr. I want to thank Ripper. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Atropos. I want to thank the whole team at Foundry. Anybody who makes a module, you are, you make our lives so much better. Thank you so much. Um, this has been an utter joy to do. And uh, yeah, I want to say thanks to especially Greg, Adam, John, and Ken. This was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks to problem. Joby. Thank Locked you, Joby. On. Thank you. Yeah, thank, work. Yeah, thanks, guys. This was awesome. I this really was enjoyed. wonderfully fun. Dipping my toe back into uh, Dungeons and Dragons. A little five E, you know? Yeah. Why not? Good, yeah. good and the else. scenes were gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Props to Swift. Yeah. yeah. Props to Swift. And the lighting was fantastic. Wonderful experience. Yeah. Across the board. So, um, anybody have any? Oh, sorry. I was gonna say, anybody have any shout outs they want to do? Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> shout outs. Anybody? Uh, yeah, dude, I'll shout out, I'll shout out my, uh, my crew from my stream, uh, Tales from the Pythian. Check us out. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Twitch and YouTube. Yep. Cool. Cool. We'll post stuff in the little doobly doos down below. Anybody else want to, want to plug a, a stream? Rock on. All I'm good. streaming, uh, regular on, uh, twitch.tv slash Adam Dane S Adam Danes. Sweet. Um, and I'm mostly doing uh, Pathfinder content for the uh, Alaska Pathfinder Lodge uh, and sometimes Seattle Emerald City. Sweet. Uh, Pathfinder is a whole different beast. And if you want to give it a shot, uh, PaizoCon's next weekend. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Uh, All right. Pathfinder is the jam. And I know that BailiWiki is really interested in starting to make um, 3D content for Pathfinder yep. specifically, specifically Please. looking at the beginner box. Um, oh, that would do. be great. Yeah, well, it's it's an amazing intro module if you if you want to give it a dip your toe in and give it a shot. That's how a I highly recommend it me. myself. Yep, I am um, running it. It's uh, really well made, well made stuff. Um, so anyway, happy FoundryCon to everybody. Um, mm -hmm. Check out PaizoCon next weekend, and uh, until next time, uh, here at the Familiars, our intent is all for y'all's delight. So uh, we'll catch you all on the flip side. All right. Peace.